Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. My name is Justin, and today we're going to talk about the C8 Corvette Z06 and some of its specs that have been confirmed by a source deep within GM. All right, guys, so before we start, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that came to see me at Carlisle this year. I'm blown away by the level of support you guys give to a channel my size, and it was amazing to meet all of you in person. I look forward to next year and getting to meet even more of you guys. I truly appreciate your support. I got to see a lot of the C8 Corvette while I was there, and I have plenty of videos coming about it soon, so stay tuned for those. But for now, let's get on to the good stuff. So we've talked a bunch about the C8 Corvette and a good bit about the C8 Z06 as well, but it recently came to my attention that there is a source within GM leaking some information about the Z06, and it really helps clear up some of the things we've discussed on this channel in the past. Everyone thinks it will be a small block, but it won't be, said the source inside of GM. Listen to the race car, he says. If you've ever seen the current C7R car, you know the roar of the pushrod LS7R engine is basically unmistakable. Compare it to this video of the C8R testing at night. The C8R has an entirely different exhaust note and sounds way more like a flat plane crank to me. Because flat plane crank engines can handle higher RPM than the pushrod engine can, it makes sense in this platform due to the fact that it's been confirmed. This engine will in fact be a twin turbo flat plane crank V8 setup. We've discussed this on this channel a few different times and every time someone asks why it wouldn't just stick with the current supercharger setup the ZR1 uses, well, there are a few reasons, but the most important ones are engine height, which would make it harder to fit in the car and it would possibly mess with the center of gravity. But an even better reason is heat. The supercharger creates a lot of heat and mid-engine cars don't necessarily make getting rid of heat any easier than the front engine setup. So, so keeping heat to a minimum is very, very important here. As you guys know, GM has had some issues in the past with Corvettes and overheating. So they're going to do everything they can to maintain this car's temperature, especially in the track setting. Turbos generate less heat and are typically more efficient at delivering power without making more problems with cooling. So that is likely the setup they're going with, and that is what this source inside of GM is claiming they're going to do. As you guys know by now, Chevy has done pretty well with the pushrod engines in the other Corvettes, but as with anything in life, all good things come to an end. This anonymous source from within GM says the Z06 is definitely going to be a flat plane crank and because of that will drive and look like a race car. This goes back to my previous video about the C8R and my thoughts on the Z06 mimicking the look of it and now maybe even the performance of it. I'll link that video up here to the top right if you're interested in checking that one out as well. There are a lot of advantages to going with a flat plane crank in this car, such as smaller, lighter weight crankshafts, which can spin up faster, meaning quicker downshifts, and better exhaust scavenging, which is basically the method of pulling the last exhaust gases out of the cylinder faster using pressure waves. But this improves performance and combustion efficiency, which are both extremely crucial in racing and overall track use. When it comes to building a track car, it sounds like that's the way you want to go, so I'm sure GM has given a lot of thought to this. 
Now, of course, the flat plane cranks aren't without their own set of problems because nothing in the automotive world can ever be perfect. Flat plane cranks have issues with overall balance. The whole reason a cross-plane crankshaft was engineered for a V8 engine back in the day was to smooth out the engine. While cross-plane crank V8s are naturally balanced due to the order of which the pistons rise and fall in the block, Flat plane crank V8s have only half their vibrations canceled out naturally, and the vibrations only get worse as the engine speeds increase. Because the vibrations are caused by the movements of the pistons themselves, lightweight pistons and short strokes can help reduce, but not necessarily completely eliminate, the vibration of a flat plane crank engine. Aside from being annoying to the driver in the cabin, the vibrations can also damage components or cause them to wear out prematurely. So this definitely isn't something that should be taken lightly, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure GM has probably gotten it figured out. Chevy has obviously taken all of this into consideration and decided to land on the flat plane crank option still, so they must have figured out a way to make it all work while being able to offer a warranty and making the power they want it to. That's the big point here, guys. You have to understand GM has to warranty this car, so if the flat plane crank was really going to cause any kind of issues, they wouldn't have done it. This source inside of GM goes on to say not to expect a 5.5 liter displacement engine. This number has been tossed around a lot and it may have come from the C7R's engine since it is restricted by the IMSA racing rules to a 5.5 liter engine. There's an old saying out there you guys might be familiar with and it is that there is no replacement for displacement. And while that is mostly true, there is one exception and that is forced induction. And of course, that is where the twin turbos come in. More important than the turbos is the fact that the larger displacement would actually mean bigger vibrations. And like we talked about earlier, that's already a problem for the flat plane crank engines. So this is one of the reasons companies like Ferrari have a flat plane crank twin turbo V8 that's only a 3.9 liter and one of McLaren's is only a 3.8 liter. The c 8s displacement will be bigger than the Black Wings 4.2 liters, but it isn't going to hit the 5.5 liter number either. So basically, this GM source is telling us it's going to be bigger than the 4.2, but less than 5.5. I'm thinking somewhere around probably a 5.0. How crazy would that be to have a 5.0 in a C8 Corvette Z06? I know the Mustang guys would love that. We recently talked about the Blackwing engine finding its way into the Corvette on this channel, and it seems like that might not necessarily be the case. The engine that they're going to use in this may be built off of the idea of the Blackwing, but we are going to get a slightly different displacement and a flat plane crank instead. Now, after all this information, you are likely to ask yourself, how much horsepower is this thing going to make? Well, I've read a couple different sites claiming info from this insider as well, stating 800 horsepower. That's pretty amazing considering the base car at 495 hits 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. The Z06 is likely to improve on this number by at least half a second, if not more, so we're definitely looking at quite a freaking monster here. Now, we've talked about the Z06 a few times here on this channel, and a lot of the rumors stay pretty consistent with other leaks, so I would venture to say that this information is likely pretty accurate. All I know is I can't wait to see this thing, because the current C8 is quite nice looking in person, and the Z06 is likely to take it to the next level. It is going to be a freaking monster. If we get any kind of extra aero bits on this car and an 800 horsepower flat plane crank engine, I know the foreign exotic cars are going to be running scared. Now, according to Chevy, the C8R race car will be revealed sometime this upcoming fall. When it does, the source at GM says to take a good look under the engine cover because what you see there is what you're going to be getting in the next Z06, and it won't have push rods. Now, again, guys, this is coming straight from a leak at GM, so there is a very good chance this is legit. If that's the case... The current C8 Stingray will be the last engine in the Corvette to use push rods. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think about the source of GM and the information he or she leaked to us. You think it's legit? How awesome would it be to have 800 horsepower in the new Z06? I mean, seriously, that thing would be a freaking monster. Anyway, give me a big thumbs up if you liked what you saw here. And if you have any questions about the C8 or anything else we discuss on this channel, please feel free to leave it in the comments section down below. 
or send me an email at horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You won't want to miss the C7 and C8 content I have planned. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.